Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm basically making a tutorial on the launches. It's a highly requested video on Modern Warfare and basically today I will go through it, how I'm doing it myself and basically show you guys how to do it the easiest way. Um, it's a super fast way to do it as well. Usually when I'm doing this, I'm getting a launcher done every single day while grinding other guns at the same time. So I can probably get a couple some machine guns and light machine guns done at the same time and then get a launcher done in the day. Um, they're really not that hard to do. I would say launches are really simple if you know how to do them. And I'm going to show you guys today. I'm going to explain to you guys how to do it. And as you guys know, or if you guys are watching right away, there is shipment 24-7 in the game right now. And this is the reason I'm making a video right now as well to kind of help you guys out. Um, if you want it a bit later on, there might not be shipping 24-7, but it will come back. It's coming back, like, pretty, pretty often, I would say. Um, but there's, like, shoot out 24-7. That might work a little bit, too, but not as well, obviously. But, as you guys can see in the gameplay right now in the background, basically, me with an RPG, and this is why I play shipment and I do my launches on shipment, because it's just way faster than any other map. Um, so I usually split up the launches in two parts. I have the killing part, and then we have the, the shooting down part. And first of all, you always want to max it out and rank it up and everything so you have all the challenges unlocked. What you need to focus on while getting kills is getting defender and attack with kills, which is best on shipment domination. Because as you can see, I am running around with an RPG right now and I'm just shooting RPGs and every flag there is. I mean, whether it's in the middle or in the A or C flag, doesn't matter who have it. I mean, obviously, if they have it, and you kill someone around their flag, it's an attack kill. If they're trying to cap your flag or near one of your flags, then obviously it's an offender kill. So you need 40 of both, which is done pretty fast. I believe I got 60 kills in this game, with just the RPG alone almost. Um, and you can see it's so easy because they don't have to be on the flag for you to get an attack or defender kill. They just have to be around it. And the area is actually pretty big. They don't even have to be... They just got to be like somewhat close to the flag. I mean, they, you can see mainly I'm going for the B flag because a lot of people are spawning in the middle or going for the middle every time. So that's what I recommend doing with RPG, the Pila, and Streela. Uh, it's pretty much the same. Play hardcore, domination on shipment. And just shoot the rockets on the flat. I was super lucky this game that no one really used TNT. That can be a problem though, because you can't really one shot people with the RPG or any launch tool unless you hit it directly in a like, kind of body or something. But that's basically what you gotta do. All you need to do is just go shipment domination and shoot the rockets on the flat because you have these done in no time. And as right now, as of course, this video, there's double weapon XP, so you can literally match out the launch in a couple games and have all the kills done and everything. So it literally, I would say it takes less than an hour in total, probably around 30 minutes to get everything done when it comes to the 125 kills, the 40 attacker kills, the 40 defender, and then you have it maxed out. And then you can move on to point number two, which is shooting down. So what I'm saying, you only have to shoot down 75 killstreaks in total. I mean it, I'm serious. A lot of people are thinking, oh, you gotta shoot down hundreds of killstreaks because you gotta shoot down aerials and, and ground killstreaks and everything. No, that's actually not the case here. They're actually super simple and that's what I'm saying. The launches are really easy if you know how to do it. Because you only have to shoot down 75 killstreaks without being county EVs and personal raiders because they count as both aerial and ground kill streak. So they literally cover everything you need to shoot down. You gotta shoot down kill streak with cold blooded, which is why I always have cold blooded in my class. You can see my class is up on the screen right now. I'm always having cold blooded on, um, and I always have aim on. That is a much when you're using launches. Obviously, you gotta switch weapons, so aim makes you switch your weapons faster, and you reload your launches faster. And then cold blooded, you, need, you simply need it for the challenge, and you just don't get it distracted by air kill streaks because they can be really annoying while doing this um, but it really doesn't matter but all you need to shoot down is personal raiders and counter EVs and that's why shipment again comes in really handy because the map is so small so when someone actually calls in a counter EV or a personal raider they will be super close to to you um, as some of you guys probably know the RPG and the straight LP is not a lock on launcher that means that you kind of have to aim for yourself and figure out the route that you gotta shoot but that's not a problem with my shipment, as you can see right here. I have it recorded both the Streeland and RPG. Because shipment is so small, um, the, the counter EV and the personal radius are going to be super easy to hit because they're not far away from you, um, no matter where you are on the map. The personal radius is kind of hard, uh, kind of easy to hit as well. It's moving a little bit, but you just got to wait till they like, stop moving because it will be standing still in the air for like five seconds or something before it's moving again. Um, it moves, obviously it's following the play around the map. The counter UV is not moving. You just need to make sure to hit it. 
and then super easy to hit him on Shipman. Obviously, the bigger map it is, the harder it is. If you're doing this in ground war, you probably wouldn't hit any counter EVs or anything. Honestly, you're extremely close somehow. Um, and that's why I'm saying, whenever you're shooting down kill streaks, you can do so many other weapons at the same time. You can you can technically do like five assault rifles in the meantime because you only have to use your launcher when you gotta shoot down streaks. So there's no reason to just go in the shipment and just wait for them to call and stuff, right? Um, but that's only needed. You only need to do that with the Strigler and the RPG on shipment because Javelin and Javelin and Peeler you can lock on with the launcher. So usually what I do, I go into ground war and I just sit at the back of the map and then wait for him because obviously 32 players in the map, some people will definitely call it in. Um, and people will get streaked throughout the entire game. You just gotta be patient. And you can pop the cinema YouTube videos at the same time. You gotta do is pay attention to the mid map really. Um, you can see whenever they do have a personal radar. You know they do have a counter UV. Obviously counter UV is gonna blow out the map a little bit. So you will definitely notice that. Um, and personal radar, they actually show up on the mid map as well. It's pretty easy to do and it's not hard at all. And a lot of you probably like think like question about the javelin as well. How do you get the attack kill done with that? Because a lot of people think like, can you do those in shipment? You can. Um, the only thing that you cannot shoot them on the B flag. Um, it's actually pretty easy to do as well. All you gotta do is just aim for A and C. Um, and most of the spawn you can definitely like just shoot it in one flag. The C side is definitely the best one because if you spawn in the left corner, in the back corner, you have you have a direct angle to the A flag. And if you spawn on the C flag, you can literally cross it over to A. If you hit the wall, if you jump a little bit and you aim in and you lock it onto the wall, then you can definitely get defense or attack. It's just whatever you need. If you need attack and kills, shoot for their flag. Um, and if you need defend the kill, just put it on your own. Doesn't matter if you're a teammate. So just need to get out of the way, really. I mean, even if there is teammates, you might be lucky and get a kill anyway. Um, it just doesn't matter. You just gotta do what you gotta do to get this done. And that is definitely the best way. It's just to spam rockets on the flag since it's on shipment. And then whenever you are done with everything when it comes to killing, all you gotta do is just wait on another gun and just pull out the launcher whenever you gotta shoot down kill streaks. Because you don't need to shoot down more than 75 kill streaks. If you're shooting down more than 75, you're just doing it wrong. Um, and then obviously using cold blood, so street flight, support helo or carriers or whatever, it, it doesn't matter. They're not gonna shoot you anyway. So just leave them up anyway because you will still need to shoot down. Let's say you shoot down the, the VTOL, right? That will count as an area of streak. Yeah, you might complete that faster, but you're still gonna need that count here via personal radar to shoot down to mess it with a ground kill streak, one, right? If you know what I mean. So it really doesn't matter if you shoot down those streak, you can, but it's really not needed. I would say just focus on other guns at the same time and only pull out the one two and only go for personal radars and count UAVs because that's all you need to do to shoot down to get this done. Um, and that's how I used to do my launches. That's how I get them done so fast. I get them done uh, in less than a week and then I will probably be done with the rest of the guns at the same time. Because it doesn't take more than 30 minutes an hour to get the kills done, to get the tag the kills done, to get the defender kills done. And then you can just chill while shooting down Cold Street. So that's how I do it. If you guys enjoyed, um, hope you guys yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys aren't new. If there's anything else you guys want me to make a video on, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys have any questions, I still do have a Discord channel specifically for the message question. Please don't mess with me on Twitter or Instagram. You can follow me for your updates, so you can still if you have any other questions, feel free. My DMs are open on both Instagram and Twitter. But if it's the message related, I have a Discord for pretty much everyone. Anyone can join, ask questions, and I will try to get to everyone um, as soon as I can. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.